Hi, and this is Philip here with Authentic Imaging, and today I'm just going to walk you through real quick how to uh, basically uh, show your listings on the website um, and also uh, unpublish the listings. That way, it doesn't show on the front end of the website, but still, you know, save a copy in the back end, and um, later on, you can come back and publish it without having to re-enter everything okay so when you log into the back end the new Joomla uh, interface this is how it looks uh, we go into components and then we go into properties uh, when you get into properties you know it's going to show all your listed inventory properties in here um, and again to add new properties you basically click on the add new green button on the very top uh, when that's done and you have it published it's as simple as controlling um, controlling the whole listing by the status bar here so what what this means right here this basically means it's publish that's why it's giving you the uh, option to unpublish and when you unpublish it it gives you the X the red X okay so the green check mark shows that all these are published. So to unpublish it, all you do is just click on the green check mark and it flips it to the unpublish. Um, and again, on the home page, if you go on the home page, you have the featured properties that rotate, which is right here. Um, you can make any property publish featured. And all you do is the star icon, you click on the star icon. And uh, when it's featured, you're going to see that it's uh, it changes to black instead of just the outline. It changes to a star, a black star instead of the outline. So, um, and pretty much that's how to manage um, the listings. Okay. And uh, we'll quickly go through forms and applications so say down the road if you guys want to add other forms or update a form um, on the back end you go to again components forms and applications it brings you here you can add a new form uh, by just clicking on again the green add button okay but we'll go ahead and just kind of edit one to just show you what happens when you add a new form this is what it, it does you give it a title you give it a description and then you put in uh, the name of your file okay to get your name of your file when you click on upload what that does is it takes you to the image gallery and for now we have more in the PDF file and in the image gallery at any point in time you can keep adding to the image gallery um, but all you're going to be looking for is the file extension the name so this right here this is the name the file extension name okay same thing with uh, this this is this is the file extension so the file extension is what you want to copy and uh, paste paste it right in this section okay and and that's it you know when you're done you save and close and what you're gonna get is you know the option to the users on the front end to be able to click on that and download a copy of the form and that's it for now if you have any questions uh, feel free to contact me at authenticimaging.com I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was useful. So we'll catch up with you next time. Bye for now.